Hello. Sorry about the wait. We went to a summer camp in Kansas and didn't have time to make any videos, but we're back now. So let's get started. The last version of this boat had a gearbox that got jammed with pond weeds and it wasn't fast enough, so I decided to try fans again. A good portion of the build process was not recorded due to forgetfulness, so instead we will show you the new parts. I designed and printed the fan shown here. It did not work very well at first because air was passing through gaps in the blades. To fix it, I painted the fan this lovely bright green. The bottom fan is for going backwards and forwards, and the top fan is for steering. Direction is controlled by this fancy black servo with fancy metal gears. It's way better than my blue plastic servos. The motor driver that was used in the previous version was the inefficient and chunky L29AN. I swapped it out with the less chunky and extremely efficient TB6612 FNG, which is way better. In fact, the new motor driver works so well that my little hobby motor can't handle the extra juice. As a result of this extra juice, the motor overheated and melted its mount just a little bit. I tested the boat in our pool a few times to make sure it worked, and to my delight, it worked very well. So I took it to the pond for further testing. While we were testing the boat, we got some sweet vids of the Canadian geese. They like to chill in the pond. You agitated the geese. In this clip, the lower prop fell off. I think this happened because I did not slide the prop onto the shaft all the way. We did not bring a net to catch parts that fell off, so we had to use the boat to push the prop back to shore. Experiencing issues. Where'd it go? Ooh, a that was a piece of trash. Oh, there it is. Now here are some more shots from the boat. That's all for this video. Next time, I'll add some fun attachments to the boat. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.